Want to know if this global pandemic has affected the cost of imported goods right here in Mauritius? Well, if you do, it's coming up. So I did a video a few weeks back where we explored a few items and how much they cost in Mauritius. And I was quite surprised actually because the food didn't seem to cost that much. And many of you wrote in and said that it's cheaper than where you live or pretty much on par. But that time I was using food which was, well, it's, it's you know, lower end, pretty cheap food. This week I've upped the ante a bit and we are going to be talking about more luxury items. So what did I buy and what did they cost? Well, I bought a nice bottle of rosé from France and that came to about 550 rupees. On that note, one can actually buy wine here now, which is made on the island. I'm gonna leave a link for you so you can discover this incredible lychee wine. The Lou biscuits imported from France were 90 rupees. Cars melts cheese, in other words, cheese biscuits were 120 rupees. The lint chocolates were 350 rupees. The beef biltong, and I love beef biltong, and I'm actually so happy that we can now get this on the island from a shop called biltong.mu. Do check them out, really good stuff, really great value. And that biltong came to 450 rupees. So the chicken stir fry was 155 rupees. This sirloin steak was 255 rupees. And I also bought a jar of imported artichoke hearts. They were 90 rupees. I also bought some strawberries. Now, they tend to be very difficult to grow here. It must be something to do with the soil or the humidity. So strawberries and things like blueberries, raspberries are usually either frozen and imported here or they're imported fresh. They tend to be pretty expensive as they're imported. These ones here came to about 250 rupees and that's for a small punnet. So I think that's pretty expensive. So the reason I call these luxury items is because they were all imported and they are goods that you're not necessarily gonna buy every single week because yeah, I think they do cost a fair amount. So what did the entire shop come to? Well, the grand total for just nine ingredients was 2,305 rupees. So as you can see, this was considerably more than the last shop. And it really goes to show that as soon as you start buying imported goods, the prices really go up. So what do you think? Was that expensive? Was that more expensive than where you live? Or was it better value? I'd love to know. I think things have gone up slightly since the pandemic. It would make sense to me because of course it's more difficult to get hold of products. But anyway, short little vlog today. I'm hoping that as of next week, I'm gonna be able to get out more often, get out and do some more adventuring on this island. But thanks very much for your continued support. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and also comment because I love hearing from you. It's about to rain. I'm gonna get out of here. Check here on the next one.